All right, just a video on the uh, SGE here. I don't remember the exact name for this one, the 150, or it's similar. Anyway, uh, this review is pretty much for all SGE variants because the SGE is kind of shit. It's a terrible mask. We'll get into why in a second. But first, I'll have a quick look at it. The inside. There's the uh, XL valve. It just goes through the back, throughout the front here. There's no diaphragm on this model. Doesn't matter. The problems with this mask aren't communication. It's a comfort. This is not a comfortable mask. It digs into the side of your head with this shitty sort of strap system. Um, the peripheral vision on this is dog shit, despite it being panoramic. Essentially, because of the way uh, all this curves and everything, you get a bit of vision out here, but it's not close enough to your eyes to get a full, decent vision. It's also a non-flexible mask. Peripheral seal is quite big, so it's very, very awkward to use. Almost as awkward as Russian masks, but not quite. So on the inside here, at the valves, it's all silicon. Obviously, this is in a commercial industrial variant. Uh, labels made in Spain, Italy. All right, I'm just going to chuck it on, talk a bit. All right, uh, there we go. Yeah, the statistics aren't very good. Uh, the proper vision is shit, especially. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Actually, that has more to do with the filter placement. It does seal, so it has that going for it. But the problem, yeah, I'll see if I can get it. All right, so there we go. So if you can see, your vision is obstructed by the sides here, the warping, the the way the lens is folded and everything. But that's not even the worst of it. Because the moment you put a filter on it, just a standard 40mm thread and 40mm filter, what? Well, there goes a good chunk of your peripheral vision. It's actually, yeah. You cannot look down once you have a filter on it. In short, uh, the side variants probably don't suffer from this issue because filters on the side, but they still have the warping that makes effectively the clear outer area all this useless because it's all distorted. Uh, this mask was made in 1997, I think. Just a moment. Yeah, 97. Says on the rubber seal there. Probably can't see it. Made in Italy. Anyway, don't buy an SGE. They are a terrible, terrible mask. Get an M40, get an F10, get an FM. 12. It really should have stayed a scuba mask because these are just adapted scuba masks, and it's it's a terrible gas mask, terrible, uncomfy, heavy, no flexibility. The peripheral vision is terrible. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching.